ask me from time to time, Fireball, what have you not driven? What do you want to drive? What are you driving today? Well, I have an answer for you. I've driven all kinds of cool cars. I've driven exotics, really, really expensive cars. And as cool as that is, sometimes you gotta bring it down. So I've also driven little Volkswagens, tiny little cars, cheap little cars, muscle cars, tuners, classic cars, and pretty much everything in between. But today is Fireball Malibu Vlog 614. And today I've decided to drive something unique. Of course, I'm not really sure I'm actually driving. I might be driven in it. It doesn't really matter to me. We're going for a spin. And in order to make that happen, I need to get in the wagon here. Looks good, man. Uh, up in town, once again, minding my own business, and I uh, actually run into Blake, but we ran each other at the uh, Wheels and Waves. Right. And you have a, a very clean, dirty car. Right, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. What uh, What is this thing, and, and how did you how'd you end up with this? It's a 1939 Ford uh, pickup truck, and it was a one owner. I heard about it from a contractor. <laughs> And uh, he bought a new in 39, parked it in the barn in 51 when he bought a Harvester, and then I resurrected it in July of 2016. So, so it was in a barn from 51 to 60? Yeah, never, never moved. Wow. Yeah, that's, I got pictures. It's that's gnarly. incredible. Basically, it's a full restoration of the frame, suspension, everything like that. It's got full air ride, it's got a Ford rear range, rear end, a Heights Mustang 2 front suspension, and then it's got a uh, 302 with a C4. And then other than that, it looks like he drove off of the farm. It's a mess. Yeah, it's, it's a mess, mess. in a whole cool a beautiful sort of way. Mess. Yeah. Yeah, I've only had it for a few months. It was being built for seven months. I'm just enjoying it, driving up the coast. But you have a club. Yeah, I have a club. We have the Odd Squad. Uh, started in Los Angeles, about 30 or 40 of us. Um, anything from the rustiest of cars to the shiniest of cars, we got all of it. And uh, we meet every Wednesday down there. Testarossa is showing up. Oh, nice. Awesome. Wow. Ready? Yep. social media yeah. in the area that kind of wanted to do the same thing. And there's a lot of them. There are a ton of them and I had no idea. I just run into people at stoplights or grabbing a coffee. Yeah. yeah. And mainly Instagram. And uh, basically I had I have a really shiny car. I have a 1954 shoebox. Yeah. Um, and it's got great beautiful paint and it's been a nightmare. People open <laughs> car doors into it and yeah. With this, you can't scratch it. You don't have to worry about where you park it. Or... At all. Yeah. No, it's perfect. Yeah. You might have to worry about someone coming over and trying to clean it up. Yeah, that's my biggest fear. Yeah. This paint job took 70 years. That's right, that's right. That's that's really an unbelievable story that you, you discovered this in 2016, you said? Yeah, 2016. So you only had it for about a year. Yep. And it's okay. been in the shop. I was in the shop for seven months. I didn't build this one. I had it built at JG Design and Fab in Ventura. They did okay. an amazing job. Yeah, it sounds like it. The car sounds sounds superb. This is my 1928 brake light. Uh, basically, when I drive and accelerate, his arms go down. And then as I hit the brakes, the weight falls forward and pulls his arms out, letting the people know those are the four brake lights. It'll automatically level itself out. It's got full sensors. Um, with the E-level kit, so it's really comfortable to drive. Yeah. 
drives great, one finger on the steering wheel, you're good to go. lunchtime. Uh, I'm back at the pad. Uh, big thanks to Blake and to Simon for coming up to Malibu and showing me their, their amazing cars. We're going to go down to, to Venice or wherever their event is and hang out with them. Unbelievable cars. Kathy has decided that we're going to walk up into town and we're going to eat somewhere on the beach. One of the beach accesses. Right, Kathy? Yep. Oh, don't you look cute? I do. Today is Memorial Day, so I would like to say Happy Memorial Day to those that um, may have had someone in their family that was in the service in some form. If you've lost that person, our condolences, but uh, it's something to be tremendously proud of. Kathy's a one-person army, though. I just hang out with her. What are we doing? We are going to the beach to have my special lunch. What did you make? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I didn't make anything, actually. Oh, great. We're going to have sand for lunch. Dessert, I'm not gonna tell you lunch yet. Almond cookies. Ooh. And soybeans. Ooh, I like it. The coupe de gras. Oh. Oh man, that's gonna Avocado be great. Roll. That's it. Happy Memorial Day. Yeah. Just where it was needed. I kind of attacked it before we got here. Yeah, what's the deal? There, I had to There's a bunch them. missing. How would I know if they're poisonous or not? I, had, you know, I didn't want to give it to you. There you go.
trash. We picked up a little bit of trash, and plus we found another left foot. <laughs> little kid version. Clean in the blackest night. Cloistered in injustice dead. And in the eyes of time. Nobody has a Almond milk latte, and then this is Kathy's. A little espresso. <laughs> I got the diet version. But it's it packs a big punch. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Is it good? Oh yeah. We're at Cafe Lux and um, this espresso was so hardcore. Uh, it's a double shot, and then this is a cafe latte, uh, a almond milk latte, and that's a double shot. But that was so intense that <laughs> Kathy poured it in here, and now we have an almond milk latte black with kids. a quadruple shot. It looks really good. We're gonna drink the whole thing. Ooh, demon face. Well, that's what the way I felt after I took my first sip. Four shots, baby. See that? It's not really for me. It's fireball whiskey. Made in China. I love talking to people and their cars. I love hearing their stories. I love seeing their rides. What I especially liked about today's ride, this uh, this Ford rat pickup, rat truck pickup, rat rod truck pickup. What I liked about this particular car is it, it was an expression. It was a it was a piece of art. It had an amazing story, uh, how Blake found the car and and uh, you know all the different uh, accoutrement, how, how it all kind of came together, all the new stuff that was put on there. But I love the fact that he loved his car so much. And that's really the kind of stuff. Ow, I just hit myself on the elbow. If you have a cool car and you're in Southern California and you, you feel uh, inclined, uh, you feel passionate enough to drive that car up Pacific Coast Highway into Malibu, let me know. I want to see the car. I want to go for a spin with you. I'm talking about the art cars. I'm talking about the individual expressions, the things that people build, creative projects. That's the power right there. And love is the greatest power in the world, as we know. What you give love to expands and gets bigger. It grows. I love car culture. I love the ocean and beach life. We put them together and boom, voila, the vlog. And once again, I'm gonna tell you this over and over and over again. I'm gonna beat it into you. Our job is to help you improve your life through what you love. Believe in what you're doing. Infuse love into it. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to, to hang out with us on Instagram. We got a great Instagram feed, all kinds of cool stuff. I want you guys to friend me up there. Obviously, be sure to subscribe to the vlog here. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Fireball Malibu Vlog, signing off.